Penstemons are great perennial plants for most styles of garden. And this one is called Dark Towers. And I like it for tropical gardening because its foliage looks great against dark leaved plants like the Ansetti bananas. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can propagate your penstemon plants by taking cuttings. The first step in propagating penstemons is to select plant material from a healthy non-flowering shoot. And then there's a few nifty tricks to prepare this cutting material so it's ready for sticking into compost. Firstly, cut just below a node where there's a good amount of growth hormones in the stem and strip away the lower leaves. Then pinch out the growing tip. With these simple steps complete, your penstemon cutting is ready for sticking into compost. I always place my cuttings around the edge of the pot. That's because this area holds the most moisture, so it will prevent the cuttings from drying out. And an added benefit is that you can fit more cuttings into this small space. Keep your cuttings well watered and out of direct sunlight and in a few weeks you should see roots starting to show at the bottom of the pot as well as some new growth from the top. This is a sure sign that your plants are ready to pot on and I'll show you how to do that now. I start by part filling each of my new pots with multi-purpose compost. This gives me a good base of soil that I can place the rooted cuttings on top of. And the next thing you need to do is gently tease out your rooted cuttings. You might need to bang the sides of the pot just to encourage them to come away. And this is one of the best parts, just seeing how many roots have formed on your cuttings. This pot looks like it's been really successful and it's just great seeing how many more plants you can grow for free. I can see some snail's eggs here, but we'll just knock them off before we pot them up. Now we're going to use a tool that most of us should have and they're really easy to get hold of. Our hands. Just to gently tease apart the cuttings. You don't need any special equipment to do this. And I prefer doing this stage without gloves on because you can really get to feel the roots and make sure you're getting enough attached as possible. And just be patient when you're teasing them apart and eventually you'll have multiple new plants each with its own set of roots. And this tiny cutting has grown a ridiculous amount of roots but that's great it's really setting it up to grow away well. In time we should see new shoots growing from the tip. And as I said I'm just going to sit the roots of this cutting onto the compost that I'd put in the pot and it gives it a good base to grow into. And then I'm just going to fill up the rest of the pot with multi-purpose compost and this will make sure there's plenty of room for the roots to grow and lots of nutrients for the plant to uptake to help it fuel new growth. Now just repeat these stages with each of your cuttings. You can see this one's already started to produce new growth from the base of the cutting, which is great. And once all your cuttings are potted up, it's time to water them in. Although this is the last stage, it's really important because it closes any air pockets, making sure the cutting's roots have good contact with the soil. And it also encourages the plants to start uptaking the water that they need to fuel new growth. And that's really all there is to propagating penstemon plants from cutting. These should grow away well and produce flowers the following year. Please hit subscribe if you like this video and comment below if you've got any questions. Thank you so much for watching.